Hello chaps, so cool to this um, air conditioning unit here. Yeah? Um, I've just been able to get into it. Um, the trip has been taken out, so I'm just going to go through what I do to, um, or what I'm going to do to work out what is wrong with this unit. Because it's taken the trip out, I've got a pretty good idea, but I want to be know, I want to know for sure. So at the moment, I've just taken the cover off. I've got the power on there, so now I'm going to go and turn the unit on. Okay, so the brake is on. It's at the top one there. Now I'm going to go turn it on. Turn the unit on. The unit's on outside. I'm going to go to control it. Turn it on. Let's see what happens. Let's see there. So it's just turned off. And the brake is off. So we just saw that with the compressor, well, with, with it all normal, that it tripped out straight away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the wires before I do any kind of tests. Any kind of tests. I'm going to remove the wires and get these out of the way. Okay, so they're safe. So now the compressor's off. So now I'm going to go and turn the unit back on again. And we'll see if it trips out. Okay, so the trip's back in now. I've put the trip back in. But I've taken the wires off the controller, off the compressor, sorry. So now I'm going to turn it on and we'll see if it clicks out again. So it's asking for cooling. That's what the controller is set for. 28. And it's still on, it hasn't tripped out yet. Already, when the wires were on the compressor, it tripped out pretty much straight away. So that's telling me that there's something wrong with the compressor. So let's go and test the compressor now. Okay, so now I'm by the compressor, I've got my earth lead on the earth and now I'm going to test the pins out for continuity okay I've tested it just Let's see so I know that I've got you know, that is working so I'm just going to go to the pins and none of them are down to earth which surprises me I would have thought they would have been okay so now I'm going to check for continuity uh, with the pins Stick this on V. <laughs> okay, so let's do continuity. Try to stand away the sound. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. So let's check again. I'll just move the clip onto another one. So that's telling me that the pins are okay, so now I'm gonna mega it. Okay, so now I'm gonna mega it. I'm gonna use this mega here at TIS, it's pretty good. Gives me ranges from 250 to 1000, which is spot on, just what I need. So I've got my um, black wire this time on the earth, but it's on the back of the earth, but it's still connected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my red one. Just on one of the pins. Okay, so we're on. Now, so we're at 250. So now we're going to test it. Okay, so that tells me straight away there's something wrong. First with the beeping, and the fact that it's only at 21 or well, 0.21. Uh, watching one of my, uh, well, watching one of the other videos, um, Stephen, I can't say his name, he's from New York, so it sounds like he's from New York, he did a great um, mega test and he was saying that this number here needs to be plus 50 to be any good, 
So as this is not plus 50, this tells me that this compressor is dead. Um, I'll check the other windings. So we'll go, go on to there. Okay, so we're on the next one. And we'll do the same with this one. Okay, same thing. So it's failed. So I already knew that because I took the pins off and the compressor ran. As soon as I put the pins on, it took the trip out. So I was pretty confident it was the compressor, but this is just, um, really just, just you know, made it proper clear that um, it's failed. So it's a new compressor. This is a Mitsubishi unit. Mr. Slim, you can see it there. So yeah, new compressor for this place. Hope this helps.